the deep sea is a truly mysterious place. Did you know we are more knowledgeable about outer space than we are about our own deep seas? There's some truly crazy stuff down there, and it's no wonder hardly anyone wants to go check it out. Apart from some super brave deep sea divers, that is. From the person who'd gone missing to the ghostly remains of a warplane, here's the 20 strangest things found by deep sea divers. <sighs> Number 20. Solved 7-Year-Old Missing Person Case Ethan Kazmerzak's 2006 Volkswagen was discovered in a pond northwest of Hampton on October 26, 2020. On September 15, 2013, Ethan Kazmerzak, 22, was reported missing to the Hampton Police Department in Hampton, Iowa. On September 14, Kazmerzak was spotted in a number of local bars. He was last seen at a party held behind a house in the 1,400 block of 190th Street near a gravel pit pond. Kazmerzak's mobile phone was last used about 12.30 a.m. On September 15th at the junction of 190th Street on Olive Avenue, according to police, and his ATM card has not been used since September 14th. A diving crew located Ethan Kazmerzak's 2006 Volkswagen Jetta TDI in a body of water northwest of Hampton on October 26, 2020. Authorities say human remains were located inside the car hours after Franklin County Sheriff Aaron Dodd's press announcement. Sheriff Dodd later verified that the remains had been recognized as those of Kazmerzak by the Iowa State Medical Examiner's Office. Dodd told the Des Moines Register in an article dated November 5th, 2020 that many factors pointed to Kazmerzak being in the car. Dodd refused to say how the car and Kazmerzak ended up in the water or whether criminal activity is suspected. When the medical examiner's office completes its investigation and Dodd's office receives the final report on the case, that information will be disclosed, he told the register. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Time for the rare topic. One group of people who spend a lot of time in the deep ocean is submarine crews. It's not always easy to see what's going on down there, which is lucky for the crew of this submarine as you can see in this image, which captured a giant sea monster swimming right by the submarine. Luckily, it seems the monster didn't much like the look of the big metal boat, so it just swam on by. But maybe the submarines already know about these monsters and this diver captures what no one was supposed to see. Do you think sea monsters are real? Is the deep ocean full of crazy stuff? Comment down below with the hashtag rare topic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 19. Corsair F4U4 Discovered during World War II, this Vought F-4U Corsair warplane crashed in 1945 after supposedly running out of fuel. The abandoned wreck may now be found in Oahu's southeast shore, about three miles from the Hawaii Kai Marina. The wreck is roughly 110 feet below sea level and can only be reached by boat, with experienced divers given access to the aquatic location. The Vought F-4U Corsair was a Navy and Marine combat plane with curved wings that made a distinctive sound when flying. It measured 33 feet in length and over 16 feet in height. The plane was sent to Oahu and deployed to several agencies including the USMC, MAW-1, and MAG-12. Lieutenant W.H. Holden flew this jet out for a normal training flight from Oahu's Molokai Field to Iwa Field one day. The plane began sputtering about 20 minutes after taking off, possibly owing to a fuel shortage or other problem. Fortunately, the pilot was able to guide the plane to a safe sea landing before the engine failed. The 
The plane, however, was unable to stay afloat and began to sink. The pilot was fortunate in that he did not perish with the plane. His life jacket rescued him. Lieutenant Holden was recovered later with just a little scratch on the top of his right eye as proof of his ordeal. The plane is mostly undamaged, but the water is gradually taking it as its own. Number 18. Cenote Angelita Cave an amazing subterranean flowing river flows beneath the Cenote Angelita Cave on Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula. The presence of hydrogen sulfide causes this breathtaking natural phenomena to occur. It is heavier than saline water and settles at the river's bottom until it forms a separate layer making a true underwater rive. The Cenote Angelita River, with its alternating layers of fresh and saline water, may reach depths of over 100 meters. The colorful foliage and branches of adjacent trees which float barely along the river's banks due to the density of the water add to the river's attractiveness. Cenote is a word that describes a cave with fresh water and is commonly used to characterize doline karst, a sinking hole phenomenon that is seen across the world particularly in Central America. The cenote were important to the Mayans who used them to perform religious ceremonies, such as brutal human sacrifices. It's not simple to get to this cave. For the first 20 meters, it is filled with pure water, but as it progresses, it becomes increasingly muddy. Because the cave dive extends as far as 55 meters below the surface, it is only recommended for extremely experienced divers. Number 17. The Ruins of the Ancient Roman City of Baia Baiae was a Roman town on the northwest coast of the Gulf of Naples, which is today part of the commune of Basoli. It was a famous resort for decades in antiquity, especially towards the end of the Roman Republic, when affluent Romans erected villas here from 100 BC to AD 500, considering it superior to Capri, Pompeii, and Herculaneum. It was known for its hedonistic pleasures and the rumors of corruption and scandal that accompanied them due to nearby volcanic and pretty seismic activity that elevated or lowered the ground, the lower half of the town was subsequently buried in the sea, and modern underwater archaeology has uncovered many of the beautiful buildings now conserved in the submerged archaeological park. The Parco Archaeologico della Terma de Bea contains several remarkable structures from the upper town. Baiae was named after Bias, the helmsman of Odysseus's ship in Homer's Odyssey, who claimed to be buried there. Baiae was erected amid the Phlygrian Fields, an active volcanic region on the Cumian Peninsula. It was perhaps built as a harbor for Cumae at one time. Baiae was very popular during the end of the Roman Republic. It was visited by Marius, Lucullus, and and Pompey. Baiae was known for its people and visitors' hedonistic lifestyles. At the trial of Marcus Caelius Rufus in 56 BC, the renowned socialite Clodia was accused of living as a harlot in Rome and at the crowded resort of Baiae, engaging in beach parties and extended drinking sessions. Sounds like a great place to have a good time. Anyone up for a Roman spring break? Number 16. Titanic the Titanic was long considered to have sunk intact, and various attempts to raise the wreckage were proposed throughout the years. None of the plans came to fulfillment. The main issue was the sheer difficulties of locating and accessing a disaster that was more than 12,000 feet below the surface and under water pressure of more than 6,500 pounds per square inch. Several expeditions were launched in search of Titanic, but it wasn't until September 1, 1985, when a Franco-American mission commanded by Jean-Louis Michel and Robert Ballard proved successful. The Titanic had torn apart, most likely at or near the surface before sinking to the bottom, according to the study. In Titanic Canyon off the coast of Newfoundland, the divided bow and stern parts are roughly a third of a mile apart. They are roughly 715 miles from Halifax and 1,250 miles from New York. 
and are positioned 13.2 miles from the incorrect coordinates supplied by Titanic's radio operators on the night of her disaster. Both parts collided with the seabed at high speeds, causing the bow to crumble and the stern to completely collapse. The bow is by far the most well-preserved portion with some unexpectedly well-preserved interiors. The stern, on the other hand, is extremely destroyed. Its decks have collapsed on top of one another, and most of the hull plate has been torn off and is strewn across the seabed. The stern's significantly higher amount of damage is most likely attributed to structural damage sustained during the sinking. As a result of the weaker stern, the contact with the seabed flattened the rest of the stern. Since its discovery, the Titanic disaster has been visited by explorers, scientists, filmmakers, tourists, and salvagers, who have retrieved thousands of artifacts for conservation and public display from the debris field. Number 15. The Christ Statue the original cast of the Guido Galetti's Christ of the Abyss, submerged bronze statue of Jesus Christ, is found in the Mediterranean Sea, off San Fruttuoso, between Camogli and Portofino, on the Italian Riviera. Other casts of the statue can be seen in many sites across the world, including underwater locales, churches, and museums. In 1993, the original clay positive, without the arms, was discovered in a foundry. The arms were eventually discovered and reattached, but the hands had to be replaced. The reimagined clay sculpture is presently on exhibit in Ravenna, Italy's National Museum of Underwater Activities. On August 22, 1954, the original bronze statue was lowered into the Mediterranean Sea. Guido Galetti created it after a concept by Italian diving instructor Duilio Marcante. The statue was erected at the site of Dario Gonzati's death in 1947. He was the first Italian to utilize scuba equipment. With his head and palms stretched upward, Christ offers a benediction of peace. Following that, the statue was dedicated to Marcante's memory. The statue was taken from the sea and repaired in 2003 due to increased corrosion and the proliferation of crustaceans. The severance of a hand, apparently caused by an anchor, was also repaired. On July 17, 2004, the statue was returned to the sea with a new foundation. On the shore of St. George's Granada, a second bronze sculpture produced from the same mold as the first bronze statue was installed. It was a present from Genoa's navy in exchange for aid in saving the crew of the Italian vessel MV Bianca C, which had caught fire in the harbor of St. George's and had to be sunk. On October 22, 1961, the sculpture was installed. Number 14. U.S. Greyback Submarine Missing for 75 Years Found Off Japan According to the expedition team, investigators uncovered a 75-year-old mistake in the location of a missing World War II submarine off the coast of Japan. The USS Greyback sunk in the East China Sea in February 1944 after being assaulted by Japanese troops while on a mission. The submarine sank 21,594 tons of commerce on its final voyage alone, according to the Navy, and the submarine is credited with destroying 14 ships, totaling 63,835 tons. In June, ocean researcher Tim Taylor and his crew discovered the Greyback around 1,400 feet below the surface southwest of Okinawa as part of the Missing 52 project, which attempts to recover lost U.S. World War II submarines. According to Taylor's organization, the Navy recently verified the team's findings. Taylor hired Yutaka Iwasaki, a systems engineer who looked over the original Japanese military records and determined that the Navy's translation of the locations was correct. Taylor said it was off by one digit. That changed the location by more than 100 miles. The crew employed underwater drones and modern imaging equipment to help in the mission, in addition to the new coordinates. However, locating the sub proved difficult, and the crew was on the verge of giving up. It was amazing, Taylor said in a statement. The team had resigned to the fact that we were heading back to port and would not complete the total search area this year. A drone experienced a technical problem, and the team only had a few minutes to analyze the data. Number 13. Rare Sea Angel Spotted Off Russian Coast 
Russian divers discovered a naked sea butterfly swimming in the cold white sea. As it glides through the freezing water, the dreamlike sea creature with its delicate wings and brilliant colors appears to be animated. The zooplankton mollusk, sometimes known as a sea angel, may be found in the Arctic Ocean and frigid parts of the North Atlantic Ocean from the surface to a depth of more than 500 meters. Friedrich Martens described it in 1676, making it the first gymnosomnidus pteropod to be described. Cleone limacina may be found in the Arctic Ocean and North Atlantic Ocean's frigid waters, reaching south to the Sargasso Sea. Adults nearly exclusively feed on the sea butterflies of the genus Limacina, namely Limacina helicina and Limacina retroversa, in a predator-prey interaction. The feeding behavior of Cleone Limacina is rather unusual. Three pairs of buccal cones make up the buccal apparatus. Limacina helicina shell is grabbed by these tentacles. When the prey is in the proper posture, with its shell opening facing Cleone limacina's radula, it uses its chitinous hooks, which are averted from hook sacs, to grip the prey. The body is then entirely extracted from its shell and swallowed whole. The life cycle of C. limacina in Svalbard looks to span at least two years. Planktonic feeders, such as baleen whales, prey on Cleone limacina. Number 12. 26 foot long sea worm discovered by divers off New Zealand coast. Two divers spotted this enormous worm-like monster off the coast of New Zealand. The worm, which is around 26 feet in length, is considered to be a pyrosome, a warm water creature. On October 25th, director Steve Hathaway was filming a tourism ad on an island off the coast of New Zealand when his friend Andrew Buttle summoned him to see something unusual. You've got to be kidding me, Hathaway remarked after hearing what Buttle uncovered. He put on his scuba gear and dove in. It was a 26-foot-long translucent worm-like creature that looked like a giant windsock. He'd been wanting to see a pyrosome for years, one that was huge enough for him to swim across. What would normally cause most individuals to run from the water was soon recognized by the two guys as perfectly safe and, in fact, a rare event. Pyrosomes are planktonic, which implies that currents tides, and waves in the oceans play a major role in their migration. Number 11. Giant Underwater Cave Wasp Hiding Oldest Human Skeleton in the Americas Divers are bringing a 12,000-year-old skull for 3D scanning inside a cave known as Hoyo Negro, or Black Hole, in Spanish. The skull is one of the most ancient and complete skeletons ever discovered in the Americas. Fortunately for us, the journey was captured with a magnificent collection of photographs. The skeleton, which belonged to a 15- or 16-year-old girl, dubbed Naya by experts, sheds light on a long-standing controversy about what early Americans looked like. Although Naya's narrow features and high forehead make her appear nothing like a Native American, her DNA markers show they are connected. The caves on the Yucatan Peninsula were most likely dry when she died at the end of the Ice Age. The caverns have been inundated by rising sea levels since. In 2007, divers uncovered Naya's bones, as well as those of extinct creatures such as saber-toothed cats and enormous ground sloths. After illegal divers entered the cave, her bones were relocated. While we'll never be able to visit the cave, we may marvel at these incredible underwater anthropological photographs. Number 10. The Lost City of Heracleon the city of Thonis Heracleion remained concealed for thousands of years, sunk deep beneath the water as shown by a few rare inscriptions and old manuscripts. After scanning a large region of the Abukir Bay, off the coast of Egypt for years, French archaeologist Frank Gaudiot and his colleagues discovered a massive face emerging from the murky shallows. Thonis Heracleion, a 6.5 kilometers off the shore of Alexandria, has finally been discovered by Gaudiot. 
totally submerged. 64 ships, 700 anchors, a treasure trove of gold coins, 16-foot-tall sculptures and the remnants of a large temple to the deity Amun Jerub, as well as the small sarcophagi for the animals brought there as sacrifices, were among the submerged ruins. The granite and diorite remains and artifacts have been exceptionally well preserved, providing a look into what was once one of the world's major port towns 2,300 years ago. All traffic into Egypt was regulated by the harbor of Thonis Heracleion, the city's Egyptian and Greek names. The city was crisscrossed with canals, a type of ancient Egyptian Venice, and its islands were home to tiny sanctuaries and dwellings, all built around its main temple. The history of this once grand city is virtually unknown today, and no one knows how it came to be completely submerged. Number 9. The Ghost Fleet this lagoon was home to Japan's Imperial Fleet during World War II, which was destroyed in the aftermath of Operation Hailstone, often known as Japan's Pearl Harbor. Hundreds of Japanese airplanes and other military vehicles remain at the lagoon's bottom today, making it one of the greatest World War II wreck diving sites in the world. In a surprise attack on the islands on February 17, 1944, five fleet carriers and four light carriers, as well as support ships and 500 aircraft, fell on the islands. The Japanese military had transferred extra ships to the region just a week before the raid, and as a result, about 250 Japanese planes were destroyed and more than 50 ships lost. In one ship alone, an estimated 400 Japanese soldiers were slaughtered when they were trapped in the cargo hold. The majority of the fleet remained in the same location where it was abandoned, completely forgotten by the rest of the world until the late 1960s. The wreck littered lagoon was examined in Jacques Cousteau's 1969 film Lagoon of Lost Ships, and many of the sunken ships were still full of dead at the time. Japan initiated recovery operations when wreck divers attracted attention to the location, and several corpses have been recovered and returned to Japan for burial. However, a few remained. Number 8. SS President Coolidge Espiritu Santo is well known across the world as a diving destination. The sinking of the SS President Coolidge is one of the causes behind this. This wreck is considered to be the world's largest and most accessible wreck, and has been dubbed the world's greatest shore dive. The Dollar Steamship Company commissioned the SS President Coolidge and her sister ship, the SS President Hoover, in October 1929, at a cost of slightly over $7 million each. Grace Coolidge, the former president's wife, launched the President Coolidge on February 21, 1931. It was christened with a bottle of river water from the Black River, which ran through the ex-property, presidents rather than the traditional champagne, because prohibition was still in effect in the United States at the time. The SS President Coolidge was a luxurious ship that lived up to its name. The liner, together with its sister ship, was the biggest merchant ship ever built in the United States at the time. She was a monster measuring 654 feet 3 inches long, 81 feet in beam, 34 feet in depth, and weighed 21,936 tons gross. It was built to carry 988 passengers with 385 crew members. There was was no cost spent in furnishing the inside, which was on par with the greatest hotels in the area at the time. The onboard entertainment was described as state of the art, with two saltwater pools, a gym, a theater, a stock market, a beauty salon, and air conditioning everywhere. The first class cabins and many of the special class cabins had telephones, and the first class cabins and many of the special class cabins had ensuite toilet facilities. Number 7. USS Oriskany the USS Oriskany, often known as Mighty O, was one of the few Essex-class aircraft carriers built for the US Navy following World War II. The Battle of Oriskany took place during the Revolutionary War, and this ship was named for it. 
The history of the Oriskany is somewhat different from that of her sisters. Her construction was halted in 1946, when she was planned as a long-hauled Essex-class ship. After being converted to an upgraded design, known as SCB-27, she was commissioned in 1950 and served as the model for the modernization of 14 additional Essex-class ships. The Essex-class ship Oriskany was the last to be constructed. She served mostly in the Pacific until the 1970s, collecting two battle stars for Korean War duty and ten for Vietnam War service. When a magnesium flare was inadvertently lit aboard the Oriskany in 1966, one of the biggest naval disasters since World War II broke out. 44 sailors died in the fire. The post-service history of the Oriskany differs significantly from those of her sister ships. She was decommissioned in 1976 and sold for scrap in 1995, but she was repossessed in 1997 when no action was taken. In 2004, it was planned to sunk her off the coast of Florida and the Gulf of Mexico as an artificial reef. She was gently buried in May 2006, resting in an upright posture at a depth accessible to recreational divers after extensive environmental evaluation and cleanup to eliminate hazardous chemicals. As of 2008, the Oriskany was the biggest ship ever sunk for the purpose of creating a reef. Number 6. Headless Chicken Monster for the first time, camera equipment created by Australian researchers was used to photograph a deep-sea cucumber known as the Headless Chicken Monster in the Southern Ocean. The monster was spotted off the coast of East Antarctica for the first time, and it is the first time the species has been sighted in the region. Anipniastes eximia was previously only observed in the Gulf of Mexico and was recorded in the Southern Ocean with the vision-developed cameras. The data from the cameras will be presented during the annual conference of the Commission for the Conservation of Antarctic Marine Living Resources, which begins in Hobart this week. The meeting's Australian commissioner will advocate for a new East Antarctic marine protected area. The Southern Ocean is home to an incredible abundance and variety of marine life, including commercially sought-after species, the harvesting of which must be carefully managed for future generations," said Commissioner Gillian Slocum. Number 5. The Antikythera Mechanism An archaeologist was sorting through artifacts recovered in the wreck of a 2,000-year-old shipwreck off the Greek island of Antikythera a century and a half ago. A system of brass gears and dials put in a case the size of a mantle clock was among the wreck's riches, which included exquisite vases and pots and jewels and a bronze figure of an old philosopher. The Antikythera mechanism was the name given to the instrument by archaeologists. At first sight, the brass found near the disaster seems like something you'd find in a junkyard or on the wall of a dive bar with a nautical decor. The mechanism is now only a collection of rusty brass gears wedged between two decaying wooden boxes. However, a closer inspection reveals at least two dozen gears, perfectly stacked on top of one another and tuned with the accuracy of a Swiss watch. Archaeologists would generally date this type of technology to the 16th century, not much earlier than that. But there was still one question. What was the purpose of this contraption? The mechanism was instantly obvious to archaeologists as being some type of clock, calendar, or calculating instrument. They didn't know which, though. They argued for decades whether the Antikythera was a miniature model of the planets. Is it possible that it was an early astrolabe? Derek J. De Sola Prince, a Princeton science historian, published the first comprehensive scientific examination of the contraption to date in 1959. He determined that the mechanism was used to forecast the location of the planets and stars in the sky based on the calendar month after a detailed examination of the gears. The calendar year would be represented by a primary gear, which would then move several smaller gears to depict the motions of the planets, Sun, and Moon. Number 4. Apollo Rocket Engines 
Not long after James Cameron's deep sea trip, Jeff Bezos, the founder of Amazon and a space entrepreneur, revealed his own ambition to explore the depths. Bezos wants to retrieve the F-1 engines that propelled the Apollo 11 moon landing mission into orbit on the Saturn V rocket. On his website, he recently stated that his crew had successfully recovered the engines. The engines were discovered 14,000 feet below the ocean's surface off the coast of Florida, expelled from the Saturn V rocket as Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin rocketed into space. The engines remain NASA property, and after Bezos gives them over, he wishes to see them play placed in a Seattle museum. He plans for the final engines to have the naturally worn appearance of hardware that rested on the bottom of the ocean for decades after plunging from the sky at 5,000 miles per hour, while the components are being repaired to avoid additional corrosion before being joined together. Number 3. Christmas Tree Worm Scientists discovered this unusual yet lovely deep-sea critter near Lizard Island on the Great Barrier Reef. Despite its name which comes from their triangle plumes, this beautiful critter would look fantastic on any Christmas tree, though they like a coral one. Did you know that a Christmas tree worm is a real organism that lives in the ocean? The Christmas tree worm was originally found in 1766 by scientists. Its stunning treetop crown is available in a variety of hues, but it is always matched. Even more intriguing, the only thing visible is the worm's crown, which is apparently in a lovely shape of a Christmas tree. Christmas tree worms aren't very large, in reality they're just about 1.5 inches long on average, but as I'm sure you'll agree, they know how to put out some incredible color. Number 2. Giant Isopod a new monster has been discovered off the coast of Indonesia by experts. A new species of super giant isopod, a massive marine cousin of the ordinary pill bug, has been discovered. During the South Java Deep Sea Biodiversity Expedition in 2018, the finding was found. The holotype, or physical specimen that serves as the basis for the description and naming of the new species, is a 36.3 centimeter male named Bathynomus roxasa. In comparison, Comparison to the nearest known species, Bathynomus gigantus, the researchers noticed smoother skin and distinct body proportions and morphologies, in addition to being larger on average. The find is an example of deep-sea gigantism, the phenomenon in which certain deep-sea animals grow considerably larger than their cousins in shallower seas or on land. The majority of isopods are under 10 millimeters in length. Number 1. MS Zenobia Ferry MS Zenobia was a Challenger class RO RO ferry built in Sweden that capsized and sunk in the Mediterranean Sea near Larnaca, Cyprus during her first trip in June 1980. She currently lays on her port side at roughly 138 feet of water and has been declared one of the top 10 wreck diving sites in the world by the Times and many others. Zenobia overturned and sunk in Larnaca Bay at 2.30 a.m. on June 7, 1980, and sunk in Larnaca Bay at 2.30 a.m. on June 7, 1980, taking with her an estimated 200 million pounds in cargo. There were no fatalities as a result of the incident. A Discovery Channel series looked into the possibility that Mossad and MI6 sabotaged Zenobia, which could have been carrying weapons to Syria. Wawel, the sister sister ship is still in service as of January 21st, whereas the Sea France Cezanne was dismantled in October 2011. Scuba divers can find a variety of difficulties at Zenobia, ranging from a very basic dive to a more intermediate dive inside the top car deck and accommodation block, to more daring dives within the bottom car deck or engine room. Which of these places would you like to dive to? What are the scariest things you've seen under the water? Let us know in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!